Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here from blogtowatch.com. Please subscribe to Blog to Watch videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of some new watches from a fresh brand called Savoy. Fresh, I guess, means it's a new brand. I'm not sure exactly how old, but it's a pretty new brand. First time I've reviewed any of their watches. Um, these watches um, are basically the men's and women's version of the same watch. The collection is even though they have lots of different styles and colors, it's basically um, just a couple of watches they have in the collection right now. And they're interesting. They're very interesting. I kind of dismissed them at first. I thought they were just kind of fashion watches. Um, and they are. They're not, they're not ultra high-end watches, but they are unique. And they have some interesting uh, traits to them. And the quality is, is, is not bad. These are quartz movements, and I'll say that right away. Some people don't mind. That's fine. Other people are uh, snobs like me, and we only want mechanical things. But I do wear quartz watches um, from time to time because I have to know what the common person is wearing, you know? <laughs> so the women's ver version is, is interesting. It has, I don't want to call it a no-style case, but it's definitely more of a barrel-shaped case that integrates into the, uh, the bracelet here. And it has these large pieces here. And something I've never seen before is this... Um, piece put into the metal. The men's version has it as well here. Here it's kind of like a mesh metal. Here it's um, a piece made to look a little bit like an alligator, I guess. And it goes nicely with it. It's a nice, uh, you know, sort of design element that I haven't seen before. And I like that they did that. And the rest of it down here is a more um, traditional type of bracelet um, that is adjustable. Um, as the women's piece is 35 millimeters wide, this version has uh, pretty small but little diamonds there on the bezel, and it's nice. Um, this is a three-hand version. You can see there's nice um, apply. Well, the raised uh, hour indicator is kind of cool, fat hands. It's kind of a cool style, and it's very Las Vegasy, but I kind of dig it. It's not. It's not an urban watch. It's a more lifestyle, nice place watch, and I like how they're sort of able to capture that resort feel in a timepiece. It kind of looks like something you'd find for sale at a high-end spa. And that's that's a cool niche. I like that. So that's a woman's version. I'm not going to put that on because, well, I'm just not going to. Here's the men's version. And this one is very similar. Basically the same dial design, bigger. This is a diver style version um, with a, yes, it does have a rotating bezel, which I like. They have versions without the rotating bezel, and they have chronograph models as well. But for some reason, I like the three-hand design a little bit better. Um, I kind of like those cool, kind of big, fat hands. Um, and it's just a subsidiary a second style, the date. It's kind of got that multi-level feel, a little three-dimensional. The case is pretty big. The strap is white silicon, and it's... um. It's a it's it's 45 millimeters millimeters wide, like I said, but it wears pretty big because of these rather extensive, I guess you can call them lug structures. Um, but it looks cool. It's actually a cool looking watch. I was impressed. It's not for everyone. It's definitely not for everyday wear. But it doesn't have what I would call distinct flaws. It doesn't have hands which are too small. It doesn't have huge legibility features. It doesn't have terrible comfort problems. It's an interesting, unique watch for people that definitely want something different. Again, this is the version with the white strap. Very beachy, very kind of Las Vegas-y. Most guys are not going to be interested in wearing the white strap version, but I kind of dug it. They have straps in black and orange and all different things like that, and there's also different types of inserts, but I was drawn to this model. I was drawn to it. I don't know why, but I was drawn to it. Interesting timepiece. Uh, both of them have Swiss, I believe, Ronda uh, quartz movements. Prices for these are, this is about $900. And for $900, you get a solid steel watch. It's definitely, um, it's definitely weighty. Oh, that's, that's not screw. That was, that was a little bit of a detritus on there. I wiped that off real nice. Um, anyways, it's, it's, it's a weighty steel case. Good fit and finish. Pieces come together nicely. There's something that wiggles. I mean, there's, and you know, the, good construction. Good pieces here. In terms of fashion watches, this isn't this isn't cheap. This isn't something that that you could gift to somebody and be like, "What is this watch? You know, you're a watch lover. Why are you getting me this?" And for people that are interested in the design, it's cool. I don't have anything uh, anything bad to say about it if it's if it's a design which appeals to you. Anyways, nine hundred dollars for this version. I think the ladies' version with the diamonds is like uh, sixteen hundred dollars. Prices are all over the place. Um, for the collection if you go to the website. Again, these are Savoy Collection watches, and you can see the full review on ablogtowatch.com. Thanks.